Okay, this is a pretty tough question. However, if you have watched our free lesson on the something method, then you may have already solved this question in your head. Let's apply the something method here. First, notice that we have this complicated fraction in the denominator of an even larger fraction. Now, if we cover up this part for the moment, things become much clearer. Here we have 24 divided by something equals 8. So what does this tell us about the something that we're covering up? Well, that something must equal 3, since 24 divided by 3 equals 8. This means we can take this part here and set it equal to 3. Okay, now let's use the something method again, and we'll cover up the denominator. So here we can see that we have 6 divided by something is equal to 3. From this, we can conclude that this something here must be equal to 2. In other words, this denominator must equal 2. At this point, we're almost done. We now have something plus 1 equals 2. So that something must equal 1. In other words, this part, x over y, must equal 1. Well, if x over y equals 1, then it must be the case that x and y are equal, which means the correct answer here is E.